everybody and happy Friday. So yeah, happy uh, have a great weekend everybody. Karma's up to tier 3 for 63 months. Thank you so much Karma. Thank you, thank you Karma for 63 months at tier 3. How are you doing? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's <laughs> I really love the avocado dance. <laughs> it's a <laughs> weekend, yeah. Weekend is good. <laughs> ah, the dance in avocado. I'm not sure which is better. I love the dance in pineapple, but I also love the dance in avocado. And the dance in banana is good as well. These three are so good. It's very hard to choose which one is better, to be honest. Oi! Black flag. Okay. Just strawberry looks to be losing in Suriki. What has happened? Oh my goodness, what happened? <gasps> Did? Oh my goodness, guys, look. Just strawberry was perfectly fine and he just won the night. He's on its main, but 98. Wow. Why can I see Andre can stream advertising on my leeches? I'm not sure. Hmm, weird. I mean, I guess you can go to streamers and there he will be. But I'm not sure, maybe it's a bug. Or maybe there is like, I'm sure there is a lot, uh, a lot of streamers right now, right? So possibly, yeah, there is like 20 streamers. So maybe you see some instead of Andre can. I'm not sure. That's my explanation, at least. Yeah, but just strawberry looks dead lost, to be honest, because queen b5 is really promising move, gets met by queen e6 for checking the rook. Yeah. I don't even know like what white can do because black just gets queen e6, game over. Okay. Yeah, queen d5, but still. I don't know no, which queen e6 just loses. What am I thinking about? Um, but queen e3. Hi, Ivan Switch. How are you? Happy weekend. Or maybe king g7, I'm not sure. King g7, queen e8. Yeah, queen e8, though. Knight f6. And queen c6, queen e6. Yeah, I think. No chances. We need 9 of 6. So you prevent rook g8 and you should be winning. Oh, wait a sec, rook h8. Hold on, I'm doing good as well, thank you, Evan Moss. My rook h8, what? What? Wait. And I play against a Moonlight 1010, it's from, I don't know, no good luck. It's tricky, maybe black should just return and play king of 8, to be honest, because 9 of 6 rook h8 looks lost. But maybe it's not after 94, I don't know, but it looks tricky. Yeah, I would play King of 8, be safe. King of 8, Queen of 6, perfect. Uh -huh. C4 96 Whew. Black is risky. Hey man, this person, hey Marco Batman, what's up? Happy weekend guys. How are you doing? Yeah, I mean D5 looks so tempting now. If 
five from Kane. Great, hi, nice, nice, Marco. And Panda sub to TSA for 45 months. Thank you so much, Panda. 45 months. Very well, still daylight there, yeah. Still some daylight, as you can see. Oh, and for you now, it's dark at like 3 or something, right? <laughs> oh no. You have now winter, you have winter now, right? Nightish for looks interesting with E4 Night of 5 ideas. A queen six but this thing just like queen e6 or something like that should be winning for them. Oh no queen c yeah it's tricky there. Rita the Potatoes, welcome, happy weekend, <laughs> I'm gonna say happy weekend to everyone who joins I think, um, yeah happy weekend everyone, oh bishop c, wow, what is the point of this move, f4, Queen seven. Maybe he actually had this and then g5. I wasn't sure. I didn't want to make like a uh, face that he has it because maybe he stream snipes and he could have played it. Um, maybe he doesn't, but still, better to be safe. Happy weekend to you also. Thank you, thank you, Trita. Hey Larian, how are you? Happy weekend. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. The Charlie Chaplin just stay in a fun. Maybe should have actually played E4. Then just play solid chess. Um made of five there. So let's do this. Takes takes G5 I get knight of five. And my idea maybe after castle play a five. Close your position up and maybe you mate him at some point, I'm not sure. Yes, so the idea if he takes, takes and plays g5, right? Yeah, knight of 5 hitting his queen. If he moves his queen, f6, knight is a huge weakness at some point. And if he takes, takes, f6 is a weakness, e5 is a threat, and knight of 3, g5 is a weakness, I'm sure be better. What still Moose. Moose isn't here for a while, yeah yeah Marco. Wow. What is this? It's gonna be making some weird moves. What is the BD7? So he wants to play Queen of Fate voluntarily. Thank you so much for the follow once again. Young Korean chess player. Thank you. Welcome to the channel. Happy weekend. Okay, let's play Knight of Five. Okay. Like queen a4? My d is queen c6. And if he goes bishop b7, d, d, knight f3 or something. Yeah, we haven't had moose in a while. How's the game going? I think it's going pretty well so far, hopefully. Uh, yes, bishop b7. I think I have a decent position. But in chess, anything can change in a matter of seconds. So, shouldn't get too excited at the moment. Mm hmm. Maybe this time was really weird, exactly, yeah. He like voluntarily made my knight on f5 a great piece. Do you reach chess books? Not really, Dr. Gorski. 
and happy weekend. <laughs> I'm going to say happy to weekend to everyone today. Mm, I'm going to get takes, so it's waste more time. <sighs> yeah. Now, Bishop H3 looks tempting. My stretch is this. He takes, takes, queen d7, and this. And if he goes like, nah. He went here. Okay. No, but I don't know. This feels like I should be just winning. Like, if I make some good move, I'm winning, no? Very weird play from my opponent. Um. Okay, I guess if knight is 3 will go king d8 because I don't see anything else for him. Um. No, but knight g7 works, I think. Because queen g7, rook f6. Oh, maybe. Thank you so much for the follow. Makar, Fartem, enjoy stay here and have fun. Maybe I should go knight d6. It's more forcing. Takes, 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 queen d7, queen b7, I'm good. But this, he gets king e7. So I think I'll go here. He takes, I take, he takes. I take, then takes his rook. Oh my goodness, what is this guy doing? Uh, what is he doing? Like, I don't want to be rude or anything, but he makes so weird moves. I guess rook f1. Oh, no, rook f1, king g7. I'm not sure, he just makes such weird moves. Wow. So, knight 6 was interesting. Knight 6 was interesting, but then queen h6, queen h3, my bishop was hanging. Oh, what is this? Can I just take? <laughs> I mean, I think I can take and then queen e seven, eh? And you have a lot of chess experience. Like any very weird move you're open in place, even if it's a complete blunder, you don't think it's a blunder. You think like ten moves ahead, he plays the trap. I'm a car fucked him. He like. It, 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 you, you literally, your mind isn't focused on, oh, Allah, how do I exploit this blunder? But your mind is like, ha, let's try to find a trap. He said 30 moves ahead. And he maybe didn't even <laughs> set a trap, you know? That's sometimes the problem. You think too good of your opponent. Okay, can h1, bishop g2, you just escape of all the checks. Hey, the queen of six, queen of five. Why didn't you take e4 first? <laughs> I don't know, it's so confusing. Okay, queen e5. Okay, so, oh, and you resign with remove line 10 10. Okay, that was a very weird game. I don't want to say like anything weird, but it was very weird the game. Oh my goodness, what is still made? <laughs> oh wow, guys, look at this clutch from Chess Strawberry. Yeah, that was fast, exactly. Gee, thank you. Look, Chess Strawberry is completely lost. But he makes, uh, he, he's open thinks that he planted a rook, he's open at like mating one or something, but he's open and takes a rook, and no, g5, and that's a stalemate, no matter where the king moves, that's a stalemate. Crazy. Okay, I played nil nil nil. Uh, but okay, yeah, e5 was a mistake. Apparently it was. He had to take knight h4, yeah, he would be slightly better. Droh, yeah. What's up, Yosef? Happy weekend! And happy weekend, Artem. Happy weekend, Hilarion. Happy weekend, everyone! <laughs> So, he played e5, knight h4, f4. He didn't have the possibility. But g5 works. Yeah, I had to take gf. And it would be better. It was a level of traps. Yeah, yeah, true, Larian. Hi, to Vladjik. Happy weekend. How you doing? Queen e7, this. Yeah, knight pg7 was a huge blunder. So, for 40 seconds, he allowed knight f5. Then queen e4, queen c6 is a threat, right? Uh, to attack the weak rook and the weak pawn. Bishop b7, fe, bishop h3, and then this. My idea was knight g7. He had to try this, the idea. Thank you so much for the follow, Carpus Butler. Just staying in the fun. Uh, knight g7 would be better, but just rook f2, play safe, and it would be winning. We can, yes! We can, everybody! Good job. And yeah, g6, knight g7 should be winning, but rook f6. Uh, rook f6, he castles, he has some chances. 
uh, but after this knight d6 I forced him to take and this I don't know why he played queen g5 without thinking I saved the rook but then I just took and I was a piece up and he just resigned and they move line 10 10 that's a nice game yeah what's up everyone how's everyone doing puzzles oh goodness thanks okay that's nice yeah, you're welcome to be that chick. So, his threat is mating me. If I take the queen, he's mating me in one. If uh, rook g6, if a g has gets queen h5 or queen h6, he mates me. So, I think I will go rook g6. I think it's rook. Oh, wait a sec. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, wait. Rook g6, rook h7. King g8 mate and king h7, rook f7. King she took queen g6, queen h7, and king h8, queen h5, queen g6, queen g7. Oh my goodness, so maybe rook g6 actually doesn't work. <laughs> oh, there's more such games in his history. Oh, really? Okay, cool. <laughs> no, but like, when you're used to playing somebody who plays like 0, 0, euro, 0, oh, wow, what happened here? Uh, which, okay. Yeah, the, the, yeah, okay. <laughs> No, but when you're used when you uh, when you're used playing your opponents who play literally like zero zero zero, right? When your opponent blunders in one move, you're like suspecting it to be some high mind games. I think the correct move is rook g seven if he takes bishop g five, so that my king has some space. All right, queen h six. His threat is queen g7 mating one. I didn't get to try to punish it, no, actually. Yeah, I think now queen g8 just being super solid and then takes, takes, and the puzzle is done. Nice. Yeah, and especially when you play these people, when you play like, say like, I don't want to be rude, but I don't want to hurt anyone, but like, 15, 16 hundreds, right? When they blunder, you're like, okay, yeah, sure, I think they blundered, unless it's a one move trap or something. But when you're playing like 24 hundreds, and they make the one move blunders, like, what has he prepared? <laughs> Sometimes it's just a one more blunder, but you're thinking, what has he prepared? Okay, if d1, uh, rook d1, knight e3, I think I should be winning. Yeah, knight e6, I'm not sure about knight e3, cause f3, and my queen hangs. Little page, nah, Ethan, I like this puzzle. This puzzle is quite simple, I hope. I'm not gonna reload the page, nah. -ah. Nah. Uh, by the way, Ethan, happy weekend! How are you doing? Yeah, nice to see Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Uh, I mean, 93 is tempting. The idea is if this I go queen, eh, it's not so tempting to be honest. D1, he gets rook of 7 check. And like, when I fight mate, so not too, too tempting. But D1, if rook D1, knight E3, knight E3, right? Queen G2 mate, if he takes queen G2, and otherwise queen G2. <laughs> but after D1, there is rook BD1. Knight 3 8 and it's unclear. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's even more right, yeah, yeah, in clear, yeah, but I read unclear, yeah, don't worry. Uh, so, d1 rook bd1, mm. and after knight f3, f3, knight three, f3, queen c2, I didn't think work, because rook d2, take, 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 and then a8, and he should be winning. So, knight d, boom, 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 this is the position, uh, perhaps... There is some rook g2, queen f5, but I'm not so sure. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Oh! Oh, wait a second. No! <laughs> I 
I said I found something brilliant. D1, Rook B D1, Knight E6. What? I made Knight E6 by accident and it's correct move? <laughs> no way. No way that it actually happened. I just accidentally stopped holding my mouse. <laughs> okay, that was funny. No, but I thought I found some brilliancy. D1, rook bd1, here, here. Rook g2, there. And I thought I go rook h2, king h2, here, 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 here. And I win, but he gets queen d2 in the draw. But knight is three. A eight, yeah, I think I'm winning, right? Because this queen d or d one or queen. All right, d one, and he can take us the rook is pinned. Ay ay ay. Queen of five. Right, I guess if queen of four is the eh. Good deal. Okay, weird puzzle. Quite a, quite not not a weird puzzle, but a very difficult one. Weird isn't the right word, but it was a very pretty difficult. <clears throat> that was a very nice puzzle. I should have thought more. Um, okay. <laughs> Reserve of fate looks tempting. <clears throat> the idea is skin of fate. If skin of fate castles or rook d1 and then like c3, right? And then I think I win. But if this, I think he has bishop b2 and my rook hangs, but I think I just got rook b1. Yeah, the same with puzzles, right? After some completely mind-blowing puzzles, when you see a difficult puzzle and you are sure the solution is correct, you're like, no, but no way this level puzzles are that simple, right? Isn't Neil Neil? Neil, after Neil Neil, he gets bishop g7. Very sneaky move. And now if I move my queen, he moves his queen. If I take bishop g7, he gets queen d2 and king g7. And if queen h he just takes. That was tricky. Otherwise, it works. But, but bishop g7, very tricky, I think. I mean, okay, queen e4, queen c6 looks interesting with queen h6, right? You go rook h8, perhaps queen d7, what do you think? Or like g5. G5? The fun fact, I think, if we go g5, Say he does something and we take g8, right? We are checking him. Well, she can h8. <laughs> we have nothing more than just this one check. Um, so g5 doesn't feel too correct in, in my opinion, guys. Uh, but queen c6 looks pretty good. What do you think? Queen c6, certain queen h6. It feels if I take h6, it should be game over, right? And if rook h8, say go like queen d7, king g6. Eh... Queen f5, king g7, g5, and then g8. I'll go for queen c6, guys. What do you think? I think queen c6 is pretty good. What about you guys? Do you like queen c6 or no? I think it's a very good move. Of course, maybe I'm missing something, but I think it's a worth a try at least. Guys, what do you think? Queen c6? Uh, queen c6 or no? Omar one two one two thousand six. Interesting and a fun and happy weekend. Looks good, yeah. Let's go queen six. Yeah. I, I I'm sometimes just gonna choose my puzzles if I'm being on it. <laughs> nah, I think a three is a little bit too slow. Uh, but anyway, it's a good try. Yeah, but queen six. Why? Why in puzzles say don't try the hardest move? We still have to show our technique, right? Like, they just give us the rook, and it's game over. Yeah, then g5, okay. But, like, I don't understand. If I would make puzzles, I would make them, like, more, you know? More, more, I don't know. It's like, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> it feels like, 
you spend say sometimes three minutes or something about the first move calculating some crazy lines right and you're not sure if this if you may be messed up in this crazy line you make the move and it just does like absolutely the stupidest move possible it just sags the rook or something and then you're like why did I spend this three minutes thinking <laughs> if I wanted to go for this move immediately? And sometimes it's a little bit frustrating, I think. Because, like, yeah, I don't know. Let's see what's up here. So, if it's like he's about to make me, I'm about to make him. Super double edge position. <sighs> And then you know what's the funniest part? And sometimes you think it's correct, the move, and you don't go deeper. And then when you don't go deeper, it is actually the deepest line which works. Yeah, knight of three is interesting, rook of three. Yeah, knight of three, rook of three. After that, rookie one, rookie one, queenie one, rook of one. He's ready to make my queen eggs. I don't think that's good, right? I don't think so. But knight of three, rook f3. What else do I have? Let's see. Uh, oh, right! Rook g2, king g2, queen g4, king f2, bishop h4. Uh, king h1, queen f3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> f3? Ah, guys, you, you, you didn't mean to write knight of three. No, but I don't know. Interesting, but... I was sure that knight of three is correct. Uh, not knight of yeah, knight of three is correct. Rook g two felt too good. Yeah, as I said, as I said, right now you don't think too deep, and it ends up being the deepest line. Oh, he's plus three actually. All right, rook g three. He's winning. He's reaching mate one. I should have went f three, and I'm just okay. <laughs> we are puzzle. Okay, nothing has happened. All good, guys. Do 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 Wait. Takes, 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 takes. Rook d7. Uh huh. Ah, that was pending. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much straightforward, right? 95 is somewhat forced. D forcing. Okay, if D, E, then Rook d7. The same thing that happened in the game, only without the bishops, right? Uh, but takes, takes, c4, just one piece. Sure. Oh, no! <laughs> no! I love Queen End games. That was easy. Yeah, that was very easy. Okay, first of all, it can be king one we repeat. It can be king, um, it can be king c1. <laughs> I love this. Very well. It is a queen e2, king c1. Let's try to find out why one doesn't work and why other... Or they both work. Oh! Hold on a second, guys. If I go queen e2... Queen d5... King c1, queen h1, transposes to king c1, queen h1, queen d5. Hmm... No, but the idea was if we go king c1, the idea is if we go queen e1, it goes queen h1, and queen f1, queen h2, and I don't, so, I don't see how we can stop queen d2 except from that, but then queen f2, and he gets it the wrong. Okay, but what does feel safer, though? Not sure. Both will super safe, but king c1 feels much safer. If I'm being completely honest. And by the way, Omar, happy weekend. Forgot. And yeah, Mubelen and Parakovsky, also happy weekend. I'm saying happy weekend to everybody who writes a message in the chat. So guys, if you want me to say happy weekend to you, write any message in the chat. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. 
Okay, let's see. Should we just include this Queenie 2 kinsy see one? And you says Queens are always crazy. And games in general are, like, are crazy as puzzles in my opinion. With Queens they are even crazier though, that is very true. To play games with you. Sorry, I'm not playing games against anyone. Though, if you save up uh, at least 10,000 channel points, then I'm gonna play a game with you, 1v1. One, one one. But yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not playing against anyone without channel points. Ah, I don't see the difference, guys. <laughs> That's a little problem, huh? Because Quinito feels the same. What is the difference? Ah, maybe. I don't know. I have 60 points. Nice, everyone lost. You are... 60% of the way there until a game against me. Soon, soon I'm sure you will get the game. The thing is, Queen E2, Queen D5, this it feels like he gets something like Queen E5 or Queen E4. No, nah, Queen E4. Yeah. Why are so difficult? No, but Queen E5 and I think I lose my pawn, so I think I'm just gonna go Queen C1. Ah! Now Queen D4. Yes! Go! Oh. Yeah, let's check it real quick. If I was the correct, if, if I was correct. Queen E2, boom, boom, Queen E5. Yes, I found out why it wasn't different. It wasn't a game of guessing. Nice. I'll send it just... <laughs> ah, God, why is it you have plenty, no? Evanos has been timed out. No! Evanos, be careful with sending links or writing chess.com, please. It's the famous chess.com Chavez Mubot. Ay, ay, ay. Or leeches.org, I think, as well. Don't write dot something because Mubot think it's a link. Yeah, but <laughs> Yeah. Karma, do you want to make... When you get a million, do you want to get make a five hour stream? Uh, st no, wait, 24 hour stream playing 100 C plus two games in a row? <laughs> oh no. Can you still look good? Yep. Is that puzzle very easy? <laughs> Not this thing with the puzzles. I'm always suspecting some hidden thing. I want to be a called the channel point millionaire. Good, good mindset, Karma. You'll be the first ever channel point millionaire, at least on our channel. Very good mindset, Karma. Okay, this puzzle was very easy. Oh, is it 700? <laughs> Guys, how is this puzzle 3700 rated? What was that? Okay. Queen d2 is forced, right? Otherwise, I lose my queen. Then king g3, right? Isn't it logical just to push the knight away? So if knight e5, I just push h3, h2, game over. If knight h6, I push h3, game over. No, no matter what. If knight f6, I go king f3. I'm restricting the knight. If he goes like knight e5 on knight anywhere, say this, 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 and king g2, I'm winning. Uh, and it's king d3. Boom, boom, boom. How is this is a separate-rated puzzle? don't know. So today I got six puzzles correct and just two failed. That is great progress. Yesterday I did six correct, three failed. And now six correct, two failed. That's some very good progress, guys. I like it. Who is Wishboy? Wishboy is the bookish host of Public Public has a TV show. A buckle of voice lesson on the most dramatic moment in chess history. Okay. Then also there is Buddy Buckets. There is nothing in the rule book that says a dog can play chess. Enter Buddy Buckets. Then Pinky. Pinky practices chess from the inside of his mom's handbag on Woofstock Law Campus. Interesting. Very and somehow he got 1750 rating. I think some people study chess for like three hours a day and they they are lower rated than studying inside his mom's handbag. I guess I guess I guess don't judge a dog by its diamond color. Okay. Benji Benji is Levi's dog, right? Benji is a Ben Doodle of yeah, yeah, yeah. This is that yeah, 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 yeah. And Ponchik is Aronian's dog. Learn chess from Okay, here I can understand. Learn from Levon Aronian. I think yeah, twenty six hundred is quite possible. Uh when your dad is uh, Levon Aronian. Uh yeah. Interesting. So now we have dog dog bots. <laughs> Cool. Okay. Now I'm gonna play my good old friend Komodo 22. <laughs>
play this random color and I got black pieces. Pinky is just very talented. <laughs> yeah. No, but how huge about sandbag should be that you have chess board, chess book, and computer? <laughs> Benji was first 800. Oh, so they have their rating? Cool. Your mom's handbag has to be quite book for you, quite big for you to in a chess board, a chess book, a computer. Well, thanks, Gucci Pigeon, and happy weekend, Gucci Pigeon. How are you doing? Ninety-six. What? Am I not just slightly better already? Huh? Ah, feels so nice ha saying happy weekend to everyone. I don't know why. Quindi. <coughs> oh, goodness. <coughs> ah, sorry. Yes, but I suit queen b6. I protect the pawn, right? If it goes bishop b3, I go queen b2. Threaten in b1 and boom, boom. Queen b6, bishop b6. I'm not sure. Yes, okay. Ah, he goes here. But bishop b5, bishop b4. This is weird. He takes. Yes, bishop e4. Bim bomb bomb bomb. Bomb bomb bomb. Bomb bomb. Bam. Bomb bomb. Meh. Boom. It's a handshake agreement. The G5 is actually annoying, is it? I, I think I got a decent position. No? Bishop f5 takes. I'm not sure. It feels like I'm not worse. Maybe I'm mis, uh, mis, mis evaluating though because that happens. Yeah, because in this recent tournament I played, right? Mm, wait, let me show you the game real quick. In the recent tournament I was playing, it's uh, most annoying thing is re-evaluating your position. So, I I played I I played ninety five rook f4, right? Computer evaluate this is like zero five in his favor, and uh, I evaluated this like I said. Hi, Jundi, happy weekend, and thank you. I evaluated this position as about one point five for me, right? Um, and he played ninety seven, and at like extra twenty minutes, I had forty minutes, he had twenty minutes, and then as I saw them better, you absolutely you immediately reject the lines where you see equality, right? And I was like rejecting lines for so equality, and then I decided to go for something crazy, and I ended up just getting a much worse position and ended up losing at the end. And that's the thing. The most annoying position, uh, the most annoying is misevaluating. I shot him plus one, so I was looking for a way how to continue my attack, but apparently I wasn't even even plus zero point five, and I just re, yeah, reevaluated. No, not reevaluated. I mis-evaluated the position in my favor. And when you mis-evaluate position in your favor, it's sometimes very bad because sometimes you just reject a good position because you think you look for better. Something like, you see mate in one, look for better. Here, you see a draw, look for better because you think you are better when you aren't actually better. Okay, I think we need to a good move. So after he goes rook b7, I just go like rook a8. But maybe I'm wrong. I hope not though. Rook a8. Okay. I think, guys, <laughs> slowly but surely, we are we are arriving to the handshake, to the great handshake agreement. <laughs> C4 here. Let's take. But I'm slightly bad, huh? No way I'm not better. Hope I'm not really like Yeah, I beat him plenty of times. But this guy is... This guy. Is this mm, metal thing. <laughs> this metal thing is pretty good. So it's usually the... How the game ends in a... The game usually ends in a draw. Uh, because we both aren't risking much, you know. Playing safe. That is why we... At least on our channel, we have the so-called handshake agreement. Because usually against Commodore 22, I draw the game. 
So we started calling it a handshake agreement. I know it's weird, but it's definitely very funny. Um, I like it. If so called famous handshake. I think Roxy 7, idea is 94, right? Makes sense, actually. He made me put my rook to c7. So then rook a7 is this tempo, guys. That is a very... Learn from Kovado. Very, very good idea from him. Look at this. So he made me move my rook, right? And after I did this, now if I go knight c4, I'm not going to go, he gets rook a7. And then I take, he takes c7. Overdraw. I cannot. That's a problem. <laughs> I wouldn't even play him, I would just have a drone of one uh, if I could to make the handshake agreement for the memes. But of course, yeah, against because engines it's hard for them to evaluate when to agree and draw, you know. So, um, against engines, you can't offer a draw. So now I see four rook a7, and then my rook kings. So, yeah, so I'm thinking about playing rook f8. How can he spawn? And I think it's pretty okay if I play it. And then if rook c1, knight c4, rook a7, knight c3, I'm good. Yeah, let's try that. Shouldn't hurt, I hope. Yes, knight c4 takes here, rook a7, e6. I think I should win a pawn, I think I should have. And rook a7, knight e3, yeah, I think I'm gonna have a slightly better end game. Yep, take six. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not, actually. Oh, no. Slip, slip, slip. Okay, if e6, rook b1, rook c3, it's rook b7. And then f7 is a weakness, and rook f8, it's like bishop d2, bishop b4 threat. Oi. Ha, but bishop d2, I get rook f3. I protect the pawn already. So maybe I should play bishop f6 with the idea after rook b1. I just take and e7 is well protected. I actually think I'm gonna do that. Let's play bishop f6. Yeah, and now I think in. Huh, maybe not. I thought rook c3, but why I don't like rook c3 because he takes. And after bishop c3, there is rook e7. And it's draw. And if rook c3, bishop a6. I should go for it, I don't know. Bishop h6, rook c8. Something e6, bishop g7. E. F2 is a weakness, I guess. I can try to exploit that. Uh, or is no, or king g7. But king g7, it just gets bishop d2, e6. Like, no, I think I'm just gonna take. To be honest. Yeah, let's take. Should be okay. Take, take. Whoa, g4. Interesting. The infinity tubes. Uh, what is your level, Basse Peder? And by the way, happy weekend. <laughs> yeah, so I think I'm going to play g5 blocking his pawn, right? And then my idea is like h6 and g7 slowly develop. And maybe if he'll blunder, maybe even win the game. We'll see. Whoa! What a move! I missed that, guys! Look at this brilliant move! Because now if I take, he gets g5. And then e7 hangs. And he should be pretty good. Should be pretty okay. What if I play h3 there, though? <laughs> king h2, bishop e5, king h3. Bishop f4, rook e7, bishop g5, somewhere, boom. It is better. Takes, takes, h3, king h2, here, here. That's Komodo, Ilarion, how dare you. Although, potentially call myself an intermediate. Uh, I would potentially call myself, although I'm only, uh, my close friend is when he says that I'm a lot stronger. A bit, for instance, in classical chess. Okay, nice. Ooh, thank you so much for the follow. Let me think. Whoa, don't pin me. Thank you so much for the follow. Just and have fun and happy weekend. We have 45 viewers. Wow. Welcome, everybody. Have fun and happy weekend, everybody. I don't know. I just like saying happy weekend to everybody today. Oh, Komodo, my best. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Komodo. It's not stockfish. I think. 
I think if you call Komodo a stockfish and a stockfish a Komodo, they'll take it as an insult. <laughs> uh, but I think I'm going to take it and play H3. In H3, Bishop G5. Whoa. Oh, maybe I missed something. <clears throat> I may may not have friends that don't get Fruxy one. Uh, that's true. Richard, play. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, Buster Petter. Yeah, but how to improve? Let me think. I mean, and what is your online rating? Guys, I found something nasty. I was about to play rookie 3 with AD after F takes E play bishop d5 going to this good endgame, right? But then I found an in between a rook a8. He forces me to go king g7 and then takes g takes f with check and king f6 f takes e he wins my rook. That is nasty. No, it's not a draw. No, 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 no. Rook a8, gf, I'm losing. It did not really, but I don't really play that much. It did is pretty good, actually, to be honest, Pastor Pedro. Um, I mean, my biggest advice to uh, players about your level is soft tactics. It's just soft tactics. I think you should improve a lot. Because... Until about 17, 1800 feet, I think, or at least 1600. Rookie, no, see, between exactly, yeah. At least, I think, at least, uh, like me, yeah. At least about 1600 feet, most, most of your games, no matter what, like out of 10 games, 8 or even 9, I can safely say, I think will most likely end in some in some tactical blunder right in some tactical i did my daily puzzle great job karmar slowly on the way to gm so my I think biggest advice to players your level solve puzzles because just just like the three tips i think it's true yeah yeah because i've seen many people like they get good, uh, get a good position from the opening, right? They are happy, chilling, and then all of a sudden, they maybe even outplay their opponent from the opening. But then there comes the moment where they just blunder something in one move, and all your opening outplayings is nothing. If you are dead lost, <laughs> all your better positions you've had. Doesn't matter what I deem. Doesn't green you guys have to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think of playing bishop e5 and after rook e7, just playing f6, to be honest. I didn't see what else. Just playing a duro. What is this? Yes, this feels weird. What is that? <laughs> Okay, now this sets me a lot of things to think about. First of all, why can't I just go to BC? Bum 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 bum. Eh. Or rook d3. Oh, what is bishop d2? Guys, please also don't play bishop d2. <laughs> like moves like that. Just if you see a draw, just go gt except and accept the draw. Maybe I actually didn't have a draw, I had rook b3. No, but my bishop was saying, I'm not talking about. Ooh. I was just happily, happily, happy with a draw. Mm, boom. Okay. Um. Um. Yeah, but okay. Ruby three, right? Ruby one is made threat. If he does nothing, Ruby one game over. Bishop B one, Ruby one, King F one, H two. I promote. If F four, I go Bishop D four, King H two, Ruby two, and Rookie two, Bishop C three. I. Th I think I should be winning. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. Uh, because rook d3, he gets, I think, g takes f. And the thing is, because rook d3, gf, rook b1 is made, but rook d3, gf, 
I don't get rook, D, rook d1 mate. So single just got rook b3. And if rook g8 here, here, uh, then rook d3. And if rook c2, I think rook b3, I'm good, no? Maybe I'm actually winning. <coughs> yeah, but bishop d4? Can you shoot rook b2? Am I missing something or did he just blunder? I don't know. I'm just making this face because as I was already explaining, when you're when you don't think your opponent will blunder, then he blunders. You think, oh my goodness, what a deep trap has he put me into. But Maybe it's actually, funnily enough, it can be a draw, guys. Because... <sighs> Not sure, actually. Because, right, if this king h3, rook d2, rook d2, bd2, f, g, f, it's a draw because h1 and my bishop is wrong color. So maybe he found some tricky way to draw. But bishop c3, king h3, bishop d2 gf rook b3 something and then like bishop b4 or bishop c3 i guess and then bishop 3 rook c3 i can't escape then but like bishop b4 well or bishop c1 even <laughs> or i should just play f5 and after king h3 bishop c3 uh, if he goes rook e8 go king f7 and how about then bishop c oh my god and then bishop f3 i'm losing <laughs> That's funny, rook e8 and bishop c in between are some very nasty in chess, guys. So bishop c3, bishop d2 feels like I have to be, I have to play them. Not sure though. Mm -hmm. Feels like he has very good chances of a draw there. Maybe actually not. Okay, I think bishop because as we f three king h three bishop three he'll get rook e eight. Yeah. <coughs> ah, sorry. I think just bishop three. Okay, bishop d2 has to be played. Why is bishop 3 not winning? No, 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 it's most likely winning. Uh, it, uh, thanks, Evolve. By the way, happy weekend. I'm saying happy weekend to everybody who writes a message in the chat. So, if you want me to say happy weekend to you, write a message in chat. Uh, I'm just wondering because, right, bishop d2. And the thing is, if I move my bishop, it's a rook trade. So, okay, I mean, I have to take bishop d2. And king h3, rook b3, king g4. It, it's most likely winning. I'm just trying to be like super cautious, you know. Okay, I think rook b3 has to be played though. Hmm. Yeah, rook b3, just to free my bishop. How do I win this? <laughs> These pots are annoying. Okay, right now I have to move the bishop or play like rook d3, which feels weird. If to move my bishop, I was thinking b4 is a good square. So then I get like bishop f8, so my rook can check him. See, rook a2, I go like. Feels like it all. Mm. Well, like, I don't know. Maybe I actually go like rook d3 and then push the passer. 
Because what else? If bishop c3, rook e3, king of 7, rook h3, it's a draw. Uh, bishop e3, I don't know. Bishop g4, bishop b4 just feels good. Keeping, uh, yeah, keeping the in mind the protection square. Uh, no, protecting the promotion square of his pawns. And I think yeah, bishop b4. I don't know. An idea because say I go like bishop c1, rook e8, king f7, rook h8, king g6, f7. It's a draw. Because I can stop the pawn otherwise, yeah. So I think bishop before is. I mean, it's either bishop c or bishop before. But bishop c doesn't make too much sense. It gets like rook c to rook seven. No, but the thing is, this this rook eight, I get bishop f eight. That's also the idea of bishop before that I get bishop f eight, not allowing that. I think I go bishop before. I don't know. Feels better. Oh, I lost rook h8. Oh, no, but then I get bishop Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's good. Bishop f8, I mean, f feels like I have to play it, right? So that my rook can move quite uh, freely then. Mm, because what else? Because bishop c3 gets f7, f8. Yeah, I think bishop f8 is decent. Maybe bishop d6, nah, bishop f8. It's better. Feels better. King of 5 How do I win this though? <laughs> yeah, his rook is just... It would be annoying. So I can can't move my pawn. Hmm. Crazy. It's a very very crazy position. It may be like some only move wins because I mean it feels like I'm better but yeah I can't at first I can't trade rooks. Thank you so much for the follow. Qcina, enjoy staying up fun. I can't trade the rooks. I can't give up this pawn. It is very very challenging to win this. I mean okay ruby six somewhat makes sense right to not allow king e6, but he gets rook a2 there. I'm not so sure. What to do next? Whew. I don't know. Because huh. rook b7, he gets king e6, rook b6, king f5. You get the same position, literally. Come here. Or if I go to rook b4 with the idea of rook d6, uh, just it's rook f2, I think. Okay, I'll play rook b6, I don't know. Rook a2 or rook c2. Okay, doesn't change much though, I guess. Um, Bishop d6 feels interesting, not allowing rook c7, and at the same time, my idea is king f7. But then I guess he gets this rook g2. Ooh, so, cheap, so crazy. Um, yeah. Maybe I should just play h5. I don't think this is winning to be. If 
I'm being a hundred percent honest. Maybe I should just play like h5, h4, and win two pawns for one my one pawn, and then try to win rook and bishop versus rook, because I'm not sure. H5, rook g2, king of seven. Yeah, I think I'll. No, 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 no. H5, he gets king g6. It's getting tricky there. Maybe I can even. No, but h. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, I somehow want to try to get into this rook bishop versus rook anime without any pawns, but because I think this is really winnable here. Should we just go h5? Oh, yeah, whatever. Maybe that's a blunder which loses my whole advantage, but I don't know. Let's go h5. h4. Oh, the idea is he doesn't get f7 because my rook pins. He spawn bishop e seven. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It feels like it again gives me chances to win, but I'm not sure, huh? Maybe it doesn't. Just some imagination. I mean, okay, after rook f6, it just gets rook f4, he escapes. So, I, after bishop f6, so I, I take the rook. King g5 wins, so he has to go king h5. The tricky thing is rook f5, king g4. Mm, crazy. Quite crazy. It again feels like I should be winning somehow. But I don't know. So now I thought to go king g7. If rook g4, king h7, and then he escapes. <sighs> Where did I cross the line? Okay, I think king f7. Dear, I don't know what the idea even is. Yes, this I wanted to take. It again feels like I should be winning somewhere, but I, like, actually, in practice, I've never had rook and bishop versus rook, I think, like, never, ever. So, sometimes it can be a false uh, miscalculation. No, but okay, rook of five. Hmm. Hmm. Should be six. Should be six. He has to just wait. I go rook a five. He has to just wait. Rook eight isn't this just mate? <laughs> okay, but bishop of six feels logical. But rook a5. Mm, the idea is if he goes rook e2, you get bishop g7. Or whenever the rook goes, gets rook g2. <laughs> but rook g2, rook f2, I thought rook a4 threatening mate. And rook f5. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Okay, rook a5. If he does nothing, then please say. Rook h3, I oh, maybe it's draw anyways. It feels like I should be winning somewhere. Okay, rook a5. That look, it does look fancy, but I'm not sure if I'm winning. Yeah, rook f2. Maybe I blundered. Maybe I messed up though. That's the thing as, as well. Or maybe I'm still winning. I just have to find a way how to.
Rook A, Rook A5 is the only move. Otherwise, I'm mating him. To Rook A5. Yeah, I guess Rook A4. No, that's. Because otherwise, he just. If I just wait, he just waits, and Rook A, King, H5. Yeah, I don't know guys, <laughs> I'm really not sure if this is winning or not, or is... I guess I'll go rook a4, rook a5, I'm just not sure if this is winning or not. E. Is check and like rook g4, rook a5 though, or rook b5. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I can mate him at least in this cage. Uh, bishop, bishop g2, no, but rook h4, bishop g2, king g5, bishop uh, g7. By the way, happy weekend, Obishni Selio. How are you? Welcome to the stream and happy weekend. Yeah, you're welcome. I guess I'll go rook g8. And then, like, I don't know, king e6, bishop here. Just to try. Uh, there. Okay, king f5. I don't know, it feels like for the whole game he's trying to lose it. <laughs> um, but I don't see how I can punish him. It's like I should be winning somewhere. G to H two. It is, yeah. No, but the thing is, if 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 the kings and bishop would be like here on the second rank, right? I know I know second rank defense. Uh G to H two, but G to rook H three, H to rook H three. If like if if I knew it was at that draw, I would just draw. But now his skin is like box, right? It feels like somewhere I should have written. <laughs> but I don't see a way how to. And it doesn't help that it's upside down because it would be straight, it would be easier to look. You start to think in it a little like that to remember the patterns. <sighs> yeah, but I don't know. It just like feels like I want I I have the win because he was trying to lose the whole game. Like he had to draw three or ten times. He was still trying to lose. Rotate your screen. You just turn the border on. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Mama Mamos, by the way. Happy weekend, welcome. How are you doing? So rook g2, rook h3, rook h2 here. I had some magic and I forgot to do! I literally had some magic. Rook G2, Rook A3. No, did I 
the food get out of the way that has so many. Then you have to do a waiting move. That's not bishop and knight, I'm not sure. Get up and sit from the side. Yeah, that's why I'm doing a face. That looks so weird on camera, right? <laughs> yes, it's so weird. <laughs> um, it feels so weird. Uh, it's like my neck has broke. Shift eight would be nice if it was legal. No man, my rock would fall out. <laughs> no matter what. So it wouldn't be so nice. <laughs> and maybe it's just a drone, I'm just overthinking. Yeah, King G3, yeah, yeah. No, that can't work. Because rook g2, rook a3, bishop d4, he gets rook f3. Hey, Pookie, what's up? And happy weekend. How are you doing? I hate this end game. Okay, I'll go rook g2. Maybe he'll plunder. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't plunder. I'm doing great as well, thank you. I mean, I'm doing good, I'm trying to meet this Komodo guy. But I don't know how. <laughs> Can I have 4 rook h3, rook h2, but it's rook h3. Woo! <laughs> ah, why is it so hard? Okay, I'll try this, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, here. He was literally trying to lose the game. He was trying to lose the game. He wasn't even trying. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know. Probably there was like 20 missed wins, Chesco will say. But I won. Let's go. You beat Grandmaster. Why did you get two crowns? Why did I get only two crowns? And why didn't the game unless open? <gasps> Wait. I mean, hits and takes back sellouts. You tell me I can't use it all this time. What do you mean I'm using challenge all the time? GM norm, yes! No stalemate, no, 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 no stalemate. Rook A4 was terrible. Yeah, I don't know, I felt like he was making terrible moves all game. I, I was winning, then I wasn't winning. No, my name's Gift and Gift and the tier 1 sub to minus plus, thank you so much. Plus, nine, plus 96! <laughs> It was plus 96. How do you win this, huh? Karma 250 bits, thank you so much for the hard work in this game. Thank you, thank you for 250 bits, Karma. I appreciate them. And then he's gifted, gifted to tier 1 after Pookie. Wow, thank you so much, Miss Gifter and Karma. Yeah, so then it was a draw. Then I was winning. I found a win. I knew I was winning. 
literally win. <laughs> How did I miss that? Woo! Okay, that was very poor for me. Okay, right, rook d3. He does something rook d8, right in mate, right? And Kinish rook d2. <laughs> yeah, it was a simple win. I saw like for 20 minutes about rook d3 and I didn't find it. Just rook d8, right in mate, Kinish rook d2 game over. How did I find that? Okay, then I threw again after rook d2. And rook e3. Yeah, why, 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 why are you going rook b3? What was rook e3? <laughs> I don't know, like, yeah, like, literally anything. One, two, three, four moves draw. And he goes rook e3. And then finally I found king of four, rook g2, rook g8. And that's game over. <laughs> Fun fact, guys. No, that's ridiculous. So apparently, okay, G takes F would be an easy draw. That would be the handshake agreement. But Bishop D2, and here he is a losing. He actually is a losing here. So the blundering mistake was King H6. Wait, let me stand. No, this endgame brain breaks my mind, just like calculating the lines even. It's ridiculous. Ha! But now somebody's drawing! Ooh, how is he drawing here, huh? And now he's trying winning, what is going on? Oh! Table base. Draw! Uh, confusing. I, no, even the table base, it like says Rook of one, but like 20 moves later. Eh, ooh, eh, ooh. Oh, it's just repeating. What is my table base? Why would they go Rook F3? Okay, Bishop F6, King H6. Here, what is Bishop A1? No, I don't know. This just breaks my mind. There, okay, Rook D3 is easy win, right? Rook is three in the sand. Uh, if he if he removes the rook from the fifth rank, you get bishop of six, rook h three. If he goes rook b five, you get rook d three in mate. He's forced to go king h three, rook d two is mate. That's not the sound, but there it's ridiculous. Okay, so eighty seven to one for him and ninety three to zero for me. Zero brain moves for each of us. Seven great move for him. Nine for me. Two three best move for him. Two nine for me. Twelve good excellent move for him. Eight for me. Three good move for him. Five for me. Five good moves for each of us. Three next for him. Four for me. Three six for him. One for me. Zero miss for him. One for me. And one one for him. Zero for me. I mean, the game was like smooth for a whole game, pretty much. Uh, what should I have played? Hi, Jundi. What's up? How are you doing? Where did this move? B6. No. C4. I definitely didn't cheat. <laughs> eh. There's something wrong with Shescom. C4! C4 is the first line, and when I try it, it hits, it's not good. <laughs> oh, I don't know what does it want from me. Okay, Queen C7, maybe. <laughs> this is just going next. Red track. Ah, okay, Queen C7. Okay, now I was draw is draw, draw so if I have a drone, draw is drawn. Yeah, yeah, 95. Draw, 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 Literally, you get the draws, draws, draws there. Since the game, I just tried. 
Just call me Sweet. Sometimes. Like, most of the time. Okay. Draw, 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 draw. It was a draw, 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 draw. And then he blunders. Yeah. And here I should have entered. No, it says like should be seven. It's excellent. I get 32. <laughs> Guys, just gonna be weird. I get plus 32 advantage. He's a to be smooth. I don't know what's. Yeah, it, it, it's ridiculously complex. I know that first rank defense is rubbish usually. How do you win? <gasps> Hint. Plus 96. Great move. Okay. Great move. Great move. Miss. Then. Great move. Great move. Great move. Great move. And great move. And then one. I still played like. How does this guy play like 2950? Yeah, the game was like the dentist drove draws which Drew could have drawn. Um. No, whatever. Uh, my, my mind can not fit anything. Yeah, but somehow, but what if... Okay, so you somehow... You somehow set up a mating net, and then you get Rook G8, but it's so ridiculous to find. Alright, now it's analyzing against my life or against the opponent. It was against Moonlight 1010. I played 0, 0, 0. And he played 0 to 1. Uh, so we started pretty well. Uh, I played D5. I thought it's the best move. Usually people, uh, usually it's play like Knight B1 or Rook C1. No, no humans play that, but okay. Usually Stockfish. You, what I mean by usually is top with best move. Okay, even for the mistake, he'll go for ED. With an equal position. Because after E5, I got knight h4. My idea was like to play f4, e4, knight f5. Bishop c8, this queen e7. Then he got e4. And he made a very bad bad and weird move, knight b7, which was a blunder. He had to castle, it would be better because I have more space. I was planning to play f5. It would be slightly better, but I could have played queen e3, it would be better. But he's still, it's a very good position. He played knight b7. I played knight f5. I made a triple fork, threatening a queen and two pawns. Now if he moves the queen to d8, I take d6 and win. So he was forced to go here. But then I play queen e4. My idea is queen c6. And then the threat after queen c6 is queen a8, winning the rook. Also queen d6, because I have two attackers, my queen and my knight. He also has one de only one defender, queen d6. He played bishop b7. I took, took, and bishop h3. Maybe it wasn't the best move, but I liked it. Because my idea is if he does something like h6, I get knight g7, queen g7, rook f6, queen f6, queen d7, king f8, queen b7. I have two pieces of pawn, very strong pawn. Then also this pawn hangs, I get rook f1, I'm completely winning. Yeah, I'm gonna suggest he would play a6. I'm still completely better because I have super good f file, much more space. I'm almost winning, but g6 was a mistake. I, knight g7 would actually wouldn't actually work here. I found that during the game because queen g7 takes some good, but he has king e7. That's just nasty. And the only move to actually have the advantage is this, and then knight e6 only moves. And then I get just plus one advantage. But I found knight d6, the way to sacrifice the knight. But the idea is now he can go king e7 because knight b7 and I just win a bishop. That's game over. He played queen e6. Now I took, and then I took d7, and then I took b7. And then if he would go here, I would just play like rook f1 or queen e7 would be game over. He played queen g5, I don't know why. I took the rook. Then the pawn didn't play rook f1. And the idea is if he goes queen e3 and queen e4, just get bishop g2. He has no checks. It's completely over. Uh, but he played rook f8, played queen b6, took another pawn. This, he took my pawn, or I took his pawn, but in the end position. I'm a bishop and two pawns up, and he just resigned with a moonlight. 10. 10. Yeah, today was finally a good game because yesterday I didn't play terrible games, but they weren't too great, you know? So.
and today nil, 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 very good i love that thank you so much for the follow abdel bas biga enjoy welcome enjoy seeing a fun and happy weekend Good, yeah, I love this game. I love this d5. Because, yeah, people who play this are usually ready for e5, which was a mistake, actually. Okay, d5 was an inaccuracy, so I have to go like e4. That is, if takes, which is a huge mistake, I get 9 g5. And I did to bam, boom, bam, bam, boom, bam, bam, you cannot castle, boom, bam, boom, bam. And it should be much better because he has very weak squares. 94 is a mistake though where I get much better. But he has CD, which is the best move. Uh, boom, boom. Queen e2, a6 and somewhat Sicilian with equality. Okay, e5, which was a mistake. He had to go for ed. Uh, 94, this, 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 this. Knight f6, takes, nah, 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 nah. takes, 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 this. With draw, but okay, knight h4, this, I pushed f4, queen e7 was a decent move, though maybe e takes f would be better. Yeah, there was actually an next e takes f would be better, uh, because the idea, rook f4 is a mistake, he gets g5 and he's better, just lose an exchange. And if gf, knight h5, uh, queen e1 only move, then castle e4, and I'm just, knight e7, I'm just slightly better. After knight f5, but still would be much better than the game because this e4. Now e takes f is a huge mistake. Uh, okay, of course rook f4 is a blunder, uh, is a mistake because here g5 I get knight f5 and I'm better. But g5 is a mistake. I go for castles, and rook f4 is a mistake. I go for a very nice move e5. The idea is if he goes queen e5, I get rook e1, and it's a skewer. And I just win the queen, it's game over. And if he goes d takes e, I go d6, queen d6, bishop a8, completely win as well. Um, so yeah, e5. So if you have e, e, e4 would be a mistake, and knight bd7 was a blunder as well. Uh, no, not e4, e4 was a good move. bd7 was a blunder as, uh, as well. He had to castle and then accept that he's gonna play this worst position, but. I would be better because I have much more space, but still, he's pretty good. Uh, B3 I would be better, but it's better in the game, because in the game I got knight f5, nice move, and then very nice move, queen e4, and then takes bishop h3, and then this was another mistake from him. Uh, he had to go for a6, uh, then d6, this, this, king b8, b4, king a7, rook b1, I still would be much better, maybe even win it, but... Uh, Stoker says it's more pro okay. Maybe not castle. He has to go like h5, try something with knight h4. Uh, I'm still much better, but better chances than in the game because I think in the game he maybe was hoping for knight g7 because he wouldn't be with tempo. Uh, but knight d6 is a good move. Knight g7 would be a mistake because very nice move, king e7 from him. And then this is this queen c8, knight g5, f6. It's I'm better, but it's still very hard to break through. But I found a nice move. Uh, 96, then nice move, rook f6, then queen d7, then I took everything, and then here, here's an and I won the game. Moonlight, 10 10. Yeah, that was a very smooth game. I'm very happy with how I played it. Maybe this d5 wasn't d5, and f, yeah, d5 wasn't good, maybe, but aside from that, I'm very happy because I forced him playing e5, and then I got this knight h4, knight f5 was pretty perfect. 3 12, very good. And guys, I have a very exciting position I want to share with you. Like yesterday, mm, only different. Board editor, one sec, let me choose. I have plenty. Let me choose which one. Let me take a sip of water. Okay, I showed you this one. Mm -hmm. Clear position. Two B three, D four D six, pom pom pom. Which video? What video you mean, Marco? Which video you're talking about? I sound bad watching. Ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> um.
Stream, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. Today, okay. C3, appreciate it, Marco. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, why to play? Why to play, guys? Oh, no, yeah, first of all, find the move for white. Find the move for white. Just say move for white, okay? Then I'll say, uh, I make a blunder from black, which happened in the game. Then I'll show you after the puzzle, what was the best move for black. Just just say, okay, white is a pawn down. Black has his super strong pawns. What do you think will be the best try for white? It's a very brilliant puzzle. I, I, when I saw when I saw it, I fall in love. Bishop H6 is something. Yeah, Bishop H6 is the correct first move. Congrats, Marco and Karma. That's the only white chance because otherwise black will just just smash them on the queen side. So takes. Uh, and black played eight x b. What now? It's a blunder. It's a blunder. If black. If black here would play f6, they still would be better. But a takes b. What do you think, guys? If f6... Uh, if f6 is better than queen g5? What do you mean? Is then queen g5 better, you mean? Is better than queen g5? I don't know. I'm not sure, guys. I'm not giving a hint. And queen g5 now. Maybe. 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 Maybe Pukki and Karma. Maybe Manuspers. Maybe Marco. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe guys. Uh, okay, guys. Do you want me to show you what the best move is? Or you still want to think more? Yeah, the best move is Bishop G7. And. B2. Okay, now why to move? Thank you so much for the follow! Desert 1, interesting and fun. No, Queen G5. I think Queen G5 loses to G6. And the fun part is Bishop F8, there is B2. And then Ruby 1, C2, just. No, well, not C2, but Knight F8, it's game over. So it's not Queen G5 because G6 and nothing. So, but after B2, white to play. I'm not sure, maybe it's Queen H6. I mean, you not. I would do that now. <laughs> okay. That's a possibility as well, Pookie. No hints, Karmar. <laughs> All right, guys, so you won't... Okay, wait. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Let me make a poll real quick. What move here? Queen H6, something else. Two minutes, guys. Uh, I don't know. Maybe somebody... Something else. All right, if, some, if everybody says Queen H6... Okay, it's Queen H6 one, I think. One for Queen H6. But f6 would stop it. Hmm. Not sure. You have two minutes, guys. Don't worry. You can spend your time and evaluate everything. Maybe it's queen h6. I'm not sure. Maybe it's queen h6 that I'm trying to jab you. Maybe you are all correct. But I am just trying to make you 
feel that you are not making the correct move, but you are. Or maybe it's not correct. I don't know. You guys, I think I have about a minute left. Five people for queen six, one for something else. All right, let's see if there will be seven votes for queen h6. I'm gonna re reveal the solution because I think most people think it's queen h6. You, I mean, you still have around 30 seconds, okay? Seven, all right, it's still 30 seconds, guys. Take your time, yeah. Queen h6, yeah, okay, it's about 15 seconds left. I'm not sure, Marco. I'm not sure. 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right, queen h6, 1. All right, let me show you what happened with queen h6. In the game, white played queen h6, and b takes a was played, then white played bishop to f1. Black has an extra queen, an extra knight, and an extra rook. Um, oh, well, they don't have an extra knight. But they have an extra queen and an extra rook. They, the only move was f6. I mean, maybe f5 worked. I don't know. f5 also works. But okay, black played f6. And then after queen h8, king f7, queen h5, king g7, queen g4, they agreed to a draw. But, but, Marco and Manus Purse found the correct move queen g5 b takes a bishop of one queen c1 and now guys why to play what would you play here where to play Bishop out? What do you mean bishop out? For key three. Actually, maybe. Huh, I'm actually not sure. Maybe they will work. Let me check. No, apparently. Rook e3 also works, but queen g4 doesn't, because king h7, right, it's very important, king h7. Because now if f4, f4 was the best move, by the way, but it's fine. Uh, ben Makhlov, queen g4 doesn't work too, because of king h7. Because now if he goes king h7, queen h6 is made, right? Hi CBGS, happy weekend, and also Ben Makhlov also, happy weekend. So... What was the move I got at soon as the Poland? Uh, the move was queen to... Okay, queen h6 gives white a draw. Rook e3 works as well, yeah. Um, queen h6 gives a draw, but queen g5 wins. Because queen g5, ba, bishop of one, queen c1, and now either rook f3, rook e3, or f4 wins. Even queen c1 wins, funnily enough, but no, it's actually a draw there. Oh, yeah, it's winning, I'm not sure. Yeah, good job, guys. Good job, Manus Purse and uh, Marco. You you solved the puzzle very well. And others also great job. Rook e3, queen f1. But yeah, it's just why why it is rook e3 is pretty much the same. How black can survive for longer is just they sacrifice all of their pieces, let them go bishop d3, but it doesn't matter. But it is f4, and then bishop f6 is game over. So black can do anything. They are a queen and a rook up. <laughs> what? But they are, they are, they can do nothing. Takes to just take. Game over. I hope you like this puzzle. When I saw it in the game, yeah, white played. And, okay, black were completely winning after f6. And, actually, finally enough, reverse psychology work, right? I should have said that f6 was the best move. Because, because, yeah, I don't know. I just said it, but all of you started thinking it's queen g5, but some of you thought it's queen, bishop g7. Um, 
You look at this stockfish, thinks it's a draw. This puzzle is too hard for stockfish to even for to stockfish for even understand. It needs to go pretty deep to understand, funnily enough. Now you see zero four on the uh, depth nineteen, zero six. It doesn't see queen c, it just plays queen c1. Stupid stockfish. It doesn't see a four. Yeah, at least to think five or more minutes, yeah. But guys, do you like the puzzle? Was it interesting? Or do you like the yesterday puzzle more? Ah, depth 20. There you go. So yeah, I'm gonna end the stream. It was super exciting. Everybody, I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much to Karma for 63 months and Panda for 45 months. Everybody, thanks so for the follows as well. Then I'm just going to give you tier ones up to Manish person Pookie. Karma turning 50 bits. Thank you so much as well, guys, everybody, for this support. Looks like one of many tal games, exactly. But it wasn't a tal game. It wasn't a tal game. So yeah, everybody, happy weekend today. I played a very great game against Life Open, and very good puzzle solving, and very crazy Rook versus Bishop. Uh, a rook and bishop versus rook and game, which I won with some shakiness, but I still no need to insult the mighty stalkers though. <laughs> yeah, it was a joke, don't worry, guys. Um, so, have a great weekend, everybody. Bye, Obisha, sell you. Bye, Manish, was by Marco Batman, by Karma, by Gucci Pigeon, by CBHS, by. What is better, by Karma, by. By Junity, by Pookie, by. Tubalachi, by Abdel, Buzz, Bigger. Happy weekend, by Manmons, by. Uh, bye 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 Anime is gifted by two legend bye <sighs> by Z uh, T X T H X C Wolves by Eladion five seven nine by Passe Peder by Van Lost Twitch and everybody who was here have a great weekend everybody don't forget to join the Discord channel be some well seem and well seem and I will see you all tomorrow take care everybody and bye bye.